Hello guys, it's Megan Daisy and for today's video is all about my celebrity fragrances. So if you want to know more, stay tuned. So for today's video is a collection of uh, celebrity fragrances that I have in my collection. And uh, I'm into celebrity uh, fragrances right now because of course they are more affordable and more accessible um, they are easier to find uh, compared to the other um, high-end perfumes and before we proceed to the video uh, thank you all for subscribing to my channel if you're already a subscriber and if you are not I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel and if you are new here to my channel you're very much welcome and I appreciate your time uh, watching this video so let's proceed to the video so first uh, perfume or celeb celebrity perfume that I have in my collection is this uh, um, JLo glow and it was launched in 2002 it has white florals florals citrus musky and a powdery by the way I will not um, discuss more of this perfume because I have quite a few and I don't want to take this video so long so I just mentioned the main accords of the perfumes and some uh, things that I'd like to share uh, with regards to this perfume for me this perfume is fresh bright and this is a pretty perfume and very inoffensive uh, for me it's like a powdery musky soupy fresh kind of laundry type of scent and this perfume is long lasting and it's a versatile perfume that you can use every day uh, all year round especially here in the Philippines so next a uh, JLo um, uh, perfume that I have is this one this is still by JLo, JLo Jennifer Lopez and uh, as you can see I haven't opened it yet because I have a lot but I forgot to mention this is 100 ml and this one is 1.7 fluid ounce so let's open this today guys because of all the celebrity perfumes that I have this is the newer or it's been in my collection right now but I haven't really had a chance to wear this because I have a lot of perfumes already and I don't want to you know keep opening and opening perfumes but yeah this is how the box looks like it's like a nude uh, box with like combination of nude and gray uh, I don't know if it's uh, visible in the camera but that's how it looks like and uh, just a regular box written the ingredients and some stuff this was uh, in made in France yeah so this is how the bottle looks like it has this engagement ring going on but this thing is uh, on the on the back of the perfume and this is what you look uh, still on the perfume but I guess you need to it was written um, on the other side so you can see from the front like that you see so there's the uh, ring like a diamond ring and the lid is plastic and let's spray this on the box so the sprayer is good so hmm, this is a nice perfume it ha it says it's green floral white floral fresh uh, and fresh is spicy so I can definitely sm smell the spiciness of the pepper and it has some mandarin and interesting enough because it has rice and there are there some more but for me it smells clean fresh and uh, sensual and a pretty gentle perfume so I haven't turned it well give it a more test because as you can see it's just newly opened so I don't go further and uh, still on the JLo line is this JLo live and as you can see at the bottom it's so nice and pretty it's like a kaleidoscope multicolored um, bottle as you can see and this is a 100 ml as well at 3.4 fluid ounce 
and this was launched in 2005 if I not mentioned this was launched in 2003 and for me uh, this perfume is sweet fruity fresh citrus and caramel now I really like this perfume it's a sweet pineapple fruity fresh perfume I like this uh, a lot and I as you can see I've worn uh, quite a few already and this is very inexpensive as well so next in the line is this JLo Live Luck same um, the bottle but only in different cup color of the cup and the, the color of this perfume is much more uh, on the darker side whereas this one is a little bit lighter so this perfume was launched in 2006 so it seems like every year uh, JLo um, releases new fragrances and uh, Live Lux is fruity, sweet, aquatic, floral, ozonic, and fresh. So for me, this is a summer perfume and it's fresh, clean, and a very easy to wear perfume. But between the two, I prefer this one because it's a sweet, fruity um, scent that I like, especially on the dry down because of the vanilla and the sandalwood that I get in this perfume this is more on a soapy laundry fresh clean bottle to me whereas this one it's a more citrus scented uh, perfume for me fresh uh, I mean, citrus fruity scented uh, perfume now next that I have in my uh, collection is this uh, fancy by Jessica Simpson and if you have watched my unboxing, I bought uh, a lot of celebrity fragrances because, of course, they are more cheaper and more um, um, easier to find and uh, very inexpensive. And, of course, I want to check out other options because, um, you know, high-end perfumes or niche perfumes are very expensive. So, I'm looking for good perfumes uh, alternative good perfumes that i can use for daily use without you know bre uh, breaking the bank or rubbing the bank you see um if we, i already have a large perfume collection so i'm slowing down a bit because um, um i think i'm uh i'm in the you know i'm almost there <laughs> i i have a lot but um yeah uh, so much about that but um, this perfume is very uh, look at the, the look at the bottle it's so fancy and it's so enchanting it has this floral uh, flowers or uh, uh, what do you call this uh, printed on the bottle and this thing em uh, embossed uh, design right here so this perfume is a very fr uh Gourmand or very sweet perfume and this is launched this was launched in 2008 so it's kind of old already it is sweet fruity caramel vanilla and balsamic though it's a little bit old still it's very fam uh, famous in the fragrance world and this perfume is a good lay layering scent as from what i heard from the other youtubers so uh, please uh, disclaimer guys i'm not really good i am not an expert with regards to this matter i'm, I'm very very new with this uh, youtube thing and especially this um, uh, fragrance uh, collections or this free in this uh, fragrance world i'm very very new to this one so uh, i'm still learning uh, I'm still in the process of learning so please guys bear with me I'm just sharing what I feel like I experience or what I experience or my personal thoughts with regards to this matter so yeah without uh, further ado let's proceed now because I am talking a lot right now and next that I have one is this fancy girl and this perfume is so uh, glamorous I should say because of this glittered uh, bottle and um, it's like a sandy glittered uh, bottle this is a 
what do you call this? Soft or smooth, I should say. This one is a literary sandy um, bottle. And of course, the bottle is almost the same, but only in different uh, packaging. And uh, I got a lot of uh, compliments wearing this perfume. And this perfume is fruity, sweet, floral, powdery, and vanilla. I don't get the... I don't get much of the powdery on the initial spray. I get the fruitiness and the sweetness of the the, the fruit. And on the dry down, it uh, appears the vanilla and the powdery scent. And this perfume lasts a uh, good about good number of hours on my skin. And I really enjoy that. And the next that I have in my collection is this uh, Fancy Love and this is a beautiful uh, perfume as well. Uh, I just don't like the font that it was written. I, I feel like it's more... I don't know. I just don't like the... I mean compared to the two it's more glamour. It's more eye-catching with this one. Um, not so much with the decor though the scent is very very good and i really like this perfume uh, this is a 50 ml because it's not the 100 ml is not available when i buy this on the online store but i really surprisingly i really enjoy in love with this perfume i get a ton of wear this the, the only thing that i uh, don't like also in this perfume is that both of this bottle is um uh, what do you call this you cannot see the perfume inside so you can never really guess how much or how much perfume you've used or you're until how far you've used the perfume so that's the thing but overall to me this is a very aromatic um addicting for me um this could be a wedding scent as well and this is a sweetness of the you can really smell the sweetness of the peach so if you like peach perfume then this is a good uh, perfume for you and also creamy cozy scent that I get and I um, so in love with this perfume so if I run out of this one I will get definitely the full-size bottle between this up uh, uh, Jessica Simpson I guess if I run out of this so if I run out of this perfume definitely I would repurchase this one and I will get the full size bottle now next I have in my collection is this uh, perfume this uh, from Jessica Simpson as well this is I fancy you this perfume is I mean I never had a really much use of this perfume for now because there are there are other perfumes that I am um, testing out so but I wear it maybe two times already and uh, for me it's a fresh fruity floral perfume and uh, as for the main accord it says a floral fruity green musky sweet and fresh and spicy so because this pe this this perfume uh, has a red uh, pepper in this one so that's why it's a little bit uh, spicy as in as you can see uh, there is a heart going on all over the bottle so uh, many says that this perfume reminds them of uh, light blue from Dolce & Gabbana I don't think it is because uh, the Dolce & Gabbana has this sharp citrus zesty scent and this is not as zesty as the um, Dolce and Gabbana but it's a good uh, summer scent as well so this perfume most I mean majority of this perfume is uh, um, can be used worn here in the Philippines from January to December because the weather is just um, hot and dry so we can wear this uh, all year round uh, next that I have in my collection is this one. This is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker and this is only perfume that I have 
from Jessica Parker and this perfume is musky, woody, aromatic, floral, powdery, and fresh and spicy and many uh, reviews that I've read in Fragrantica that this perfume reminds them of Narciso Rodriguez for her the the nude one uh, like the baby pink one and I haven't tried that perfume so I cannot really compare and this was launched in 2003 and this is EDP and this perfume is like bright clean floral and it has this crisp woody and powdery scent that I get and I love and this is a more a little mature so uh, if you are like between 20 25 below or 20 years old below I didn't think that you would enjoy this perfume but if you like it a little more heavy um, more mature scent then it's a good um, recommendation uh, that you need to try now next I have in my collection is this Adam Levine for woman and this is a tester bottle luckily I have uh, or it comes with a lid so this is a microphone looking um, bottle and as you can see it's a unique um, bottle for me and this was launched in 2013 and considered to be, to be oriental floral this is warm spicy balsamic woody vanilla and powdery and this is uh, spicy because of the saffron saffron I guess and some spices that is in this perfume and uh, this perfume for me is a unique from all the other um, celebrity fragrances that I have because um, more of the celebrity perfumes that I have shown you is more on the fruity floral sweet side but this one is a uh, total different this is a mature perfume and this is also a long lasting one it, it stays on my skin for at least seven hours uh, it has this sweet vanilla dry down and woody a little bit spicy and this is very powdery for me I don't wear this as much and because this is a strong perfume so one one or two spritz I'm good to go maybe one is, is fine more than enough for me because this perfume is strong and this perfume is long lasting even if I already washed uh, my skin uh, the perfume on my skin I can still smell it that's how strong this perfume is and this perfume is something that needs to grow on me and I don't think that this is a safe blind buy you need to really think twice though this perfume is uh, very affordable but if you like powdery uh, perfume or on the oriental floral scent side of the perfume then um, you need to try this one but if you're not into that spicy oriental uh, perfume then uh, think twice and the powderiness or there's something in this perfume that reminds me of the Coco Chanel I'm not don't get, quote me on that guys but it's just me that reminds me of the powderiness from the perfume reminds me of um, the Coco Chanel and last but not the least that I have in my collection is this one this is Sarah I mean Sophia by Sophia, Sophia Vergara and as you can see um, I don't know it's like a moss green colored but from what I watched in the other youtubers it's there the color of their perfume is uh, almost similar to this to this one but I don't know I buy this secondhand so I'm not really sure how old is this perfume but I really wanted to try so I got this um, but the scent is smell good and many says that it uh, it's similar or the scent is similar to Coco Mademoiselle and La Vies Belle and both of those perfumes is uh, I haven't tried both of this perfume those perfumes so I cannot really tell and others says that this if the La Vies Belle Coco Mademoiselle are sister this is the younger uh, sister of the of the two perfumes so 
uh, it has very good reviews it is famous in the fragrance uh, community right now and it has fruity woody sweet powdery uh, floral perfume I can definitely sorry guys my camera died because it's overheating already but uh, as I have mentioned uh, this perfume is uh, long-lasting and uh, the last three perfumes that I have shown you for me is a um, uh, unique perfume compared to the other or the first three perf perfumes that I have shown you I feel like this very has more uh, character and I feel like this this perfume is not your typical celebrity celebrity scent that's more of the fruity sweet kind of perfume but to me this perfume is uh, has more character it's more depth and um, unique as I mentioned and um, this perfume is a more on the sophisticated side and a more mature uh, scent so if you're into that perfume um, go check it out and also the perfumes that I have shown you is on the inexpensive side so and also this perfume before I forget this jade perfume has a very good projection and good sludge and both of added uh, this three perfume has a strong or I mean this perfume uh, lasts long uh, it has a longer uh, staying power and in my skin at least so if you are interested in trying these perfumes this is a good uh, I mean if you're interested to try this perfume then go ahead check this out and if you have this in your collection then let me know what you think uh, of these perfumes and what let me know what your thoughts or do you enjoy this perfume and how many celebrity perfumes you have in your collection so this is uh, for today's video guys I hope you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this and don't forget to click like share subscribe to my channel and then ring that notification bell so next time I upload new videos you get notified so thank you again so much guys for your time and for watching and see you again next time bye